Speaking to the media recently, Chief Ombudsman Richard Pagan explained that most of these enabling laws amended are administrative laws. These laws were amended through a legislative review project carried out since 2013. The amended laws were presented to Parliament for deliberation. However, it is yet to be passed by Parliament. November sitting, it has never been brought up and we thought it was going to come in the, in the um, January sitting. It has not come up. So Ombudsman Commission is not heavy with the way the government is addressing the relevant laws that is affecting this institution. The Ombudsman Commission is a government watchdog on corruption and its key functions are to investigate issues affecting private citizens and public servants, including members of parliament. However, most of these investigations have been affected as there are no better laws to support their investigations. The Chief Ombudsman says most of the laws that were amended are administrative laws to help them in their investigations. The law that is missing has been, been asked to amend so that we use that very law to achieve that outcome that very or poor citizen is asking for. Rather than collecting that complaint and sending it back to the very organization that has, advert, has been the one causing the, the, um, the uh, issue. One provision in this amendment is the call for the appointment of three ombudsmen. This is to ensure there are no vacancies in the office of the chief ombudsman. Other provisions is for the dismissal of members of parliament if they are guilty of corruption. Most of the recommendation we got for that particular provision was to dismiss, dismissal for life. We brought them to 10 years dismissal. However, the NEC has decided to bring that to five years dismissal. But that, that is the only provision is making or scaring all the members of parliament, the current members of parliament, and they don't want to debate on our amendments that are before them. The chief ombudsman is concerned that the parliament may not pass these enabling laws and that will affect their work. They are calling on members of parliament to pass these laws in the next parliament sitting. This kind of perception, seeing ombudsman commission as an entity that is always going against them. And if these are the perceptions, I see that there won't be any more amendments to the ombudsman commission and I am also fearful that the parliament can make law to uh, decommission the existence of Ombudsman Commission. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.